all it took was one season, wasn't it? Did the LA Kings go out there and give up on Pierre-Luc Dubois this quickly? You see, I didn't make the connection up until reading a few tweets and really thinking about it, but part of what made the LA Kings a very interesting team to watch during yesterday's trade deadline period was because of a trade that ended up not going down. Let's get into all this and more as the video goes on. So what exactly was that trade? Well, Frank Saravelli had the scoop a few minutes after trade deadline day concluded, talking about how it was a fascinating day for the Boston Bruins. Sounds like they had a deal on the table to move goaltender Linus Ulmark that did not end up crossing the finish line. Now, before we dive into the PLD conversation, let's talk about how this was, as the first reply says, the Oilers' only win of the day. Okay, that's kind of funny. For the Bruins, though, they did get themselves some shot blockers, they had themselves some agitators, they got Patty Maroon, they got Andrew Peake added onto their team that's going to make them better for sure, but Linus Allmark. Very, very interesting name to discuss in a trade capacity because it essentially goes out there and confirms the idea that the Bruins were going over and wanting to continue with Jeremy Swayman, that he had won the goaltending battle between the Boston Bruins representatives. Now, that's not to fault anything that Linus Allmark has done. He's got a 9-10 save percentage and a 2-7-7 goals against average this year, was literally a Vesna caliber guy last year with a 9-3-8 save percentage. But Jeremy Swayman has been equal to the task, if not better, than Allmark this season alone. Okay, maybe not alone. Swayman was good last year, too, with a 9-20, but this year he's got a 9-2-2. He has been one of the best goalies in the NHL. And because Swayman is 25, Allmark is 30 now, you could definitely say there's reason for Swayman to carry the torch and Allmark to be shipped away. Do you really need two elite, top-of-the-crop goalies? Well, the Bruins were trying to ship one of them off. But the thing is, learning that it was LA in particular that the Allmark situation was kind of hinting towards, you have to wonder where exactly the conversations went. Well, here's our update in regards to Allmark and the Kings. Kevin Weeks, speaking on ESPN's The Point Show, said that the Bruins thought they had something with Linus Allmark, but that the deal was actually nixed by Allmark himself, partly because of the geography, I'm told. Now, geography, what does that really mean? A lot of people were kind of connecting these things together, saying, oh, okay, geography means that Linus Allmark did not want to go to the West Coast. That's the common idea getting tossed out there right now. And Hardcore Dowdy brings up a good perspective. I would guess this is more likely LA than Ottawa. Allmark has a wife and two very young children in Sweden, so the geography comment makes sense. And then there's an article talking about his family arrangement. How long distance, you know, time zones, you have to think about these things. So ultimately, you could chalk it up to geography. Geo, if you wanted to say. Me. Why the Allmark trade fell through. Now, from the LA perspective, you can talk about more things. Oh, the Kings are going after a goalie, Cam Talbot isn't good enough, whatever, whatever. Honestly, I feel like Cam Talbot has been good enough for the LA Kings and their services. I mean, he's got a 916 save percentage this year after all, big bounce back from his Ottawa Senators days. But then again, Linus Allmark is a bit better than Cam Talbot, plus he's six years younger. So I could understand that perspective going after one of the best goalies in the game in Allmark right now, but to hear that he utilized the clauses in his contract, Allmark currently has a modified no trade, to nix a trade to the LA Kings, well, hey, that's a video in and of itself, right? The rejected Allmark trade to Los Angeles. But when it comes to where PLD, our main man, Pierre-Luc Dubois, gets into this conversation, Boy, oh boy, do things get interesting, because if you go over to this tweet made by Jacob Billington, Billington does work for the hockey writers in Ottawa, he made this tweet yesterday that kind of went viral, it had 600,000 views. I'm hearing the LA Kings are shopping Pierre-Luc Dubois. This was a day before the deadline. Boston has kicked tires, and the Kings are asking about Allmark and Swayman. 
And I'm not gonna lie, I completely missed this tweet when it came up because I was like, wait a minute, that makes the most sense out of every other gosh darn thing we have seen in regards to Allmark and the LA Kings. Okay, Allmark's an expensive goalie, what would the value there be? Where would the LA Kings go to if they wanted to return whatever it was the Boston Bruins wanted? Well, what did the Bruins want? They wanted the center this entire time. PLD's a center. Boston's been linked to PLD before. When he was getting traded from Columbus, we were talking about the Bruins as a potential destination all those years ago. I feel like we also talked about Boston as a situation when he was a Winnipeg Jet, too. I mean, the Bruins have been needing a center for a while, so this seems like one of those deals where it's like, yeah, Allmark Dubois, that makes the most sense. And if it's really the case that the Kings were shopping Dubois, does that not essentially mean they already gave up on the guy? We made a video a few months ago talking about how the Kings were reportedly confirmed to be not happy with the way PLD has been playing. By the way, you wanted the update on that. Well, guess what? Pierre-Luc Dubois in 2023-2024 has 28 points in 62 games played on pace for about 38 on the year, which is a huge step back from his 63-point career high in 73 games last year. Pierre-Luc Dubois, by the way, his contract expires next decade at $8.5 million a year. So, is there reason to believe that the LA Kings would be wanting to trade away a guy whose contract is so expensive and his production doesn't really match that? Yeah, there's very big reason to believe. And so with this in mind, you know, you talk about Linus Allmark, they almost got the deal to the finish line. It ultimately didn't go through because Allmark himself did not want to move time zones, reportedly speaking. The LA Kings, dude, they gave up on their guy. And I don't think that should be a surprise to anybody considering all the conversations and the discourse that have surrounded Pierre-Luc Dubois the past few months. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're an LA Kings fan. How does it feel to learn that you were potentially this gosh darn close to trading Pierre-Luc Dubois away for Allmark? And of course, if anybody's going to go out there and correct me on the speculation, hey, you're free to do so. Oh, no, it wasn't Pierre-Luc Dubois. It was somebody else. Oh, it was Arthur Kaliev. Oh, it was Kaliev and a prospect or something else. Like, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments as to whether or not Pierre-Luc Dubois was an acceptable or not acceptable return for a guy like Linus Allmark. You can feel free to go nuts with what you feel the trade proposal should have been. But with everything that we've been talking about, Boston needs a center, LA's looking at Allmark, Dubois being shopped, like... The puzzle pieces just fit, and I didn't really acknowledge that until this morning when I saw this tweet, and I was like, oh, right, that's why. It makes sense now. It all makes sense. So if you're an LA fan, what are your thoughts on the idea of potentially trading away PLD for Allmark? Do you think this is something that could still be revisited in the offseason? If you're a Boston Bruins fan, what are your thoughts on keeping Allmark in favor of letting a Pierre-Luc Dubois go? And, I mean, look, there seem to be a pretty good amount of Bruins fans that are happy that Allmark's sticking around. They love the goalie hugs, they love the goalie tandem, but if you had the opportunity to trade away Allmark for a guy that should be capable of being a top-line center, then what are your thoughts on that? I'm not saying Pierre-Luc Dubois is a top-line center. I'm saying that he should be capable of being a top-line center based off of what the LA Kings evaluated him at, based off of his performance last year, and based off of that gosh darn contract. Maybe if you traded away Allmark for Dubois straight up, up, Boston Bruins fans would not be too happy about that. But if you're trading Allmark away for a guaranteed bona fide number 1C, then okay, maybe that's something that they're happy with. I don't know, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this entire idea. I was debating as to whether or not to make this video, because the Bruins do play the Penguins like in half an hour from the time this video will be uploaded, but spinning it with the LA Kings angle and the title and everything, I think that makes it a little bit easier, right? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire Pierre-Luc Dubois and Boston Bruins situation. Do you think it was close? Do you think the Kings gave up on Dubois this soon? What are your thoughts on the trade? What are your thoughts on the players? What are your thoughts on the situation? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.